all you hear is wrong. What is going on today guys, welcome back to another video on the new computer. Today we're playing a game a little bit new to the channel, and that is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This game was requested by Michael, of course, being Michael, wanted me to play some different games for the channel, and I thought this would be the right time to start. So we're coming to it right in the middle of a job, because what I have here is what appears to be something like a Chrysler 200 or something like that, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is finishing a timing job I started on it. I need to put a, t a surfing team belt and it'll be done. So what I need to do, obviously, is get to find where the frickin' second surfing team belt goes, because I need surfing team belt A. Wow, it's right there. This guitar's not. Alright, so this car's done. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and finish this job. Okay, good news is right here. Car status, finish order. I just got paid. So come on. Alright, so. I'm saving up money, and I'm going to get the Mazda DLC as soon as the refund I got from one of the games I bought yesterday can come back. I think now we're going to work on a truck. Say you guys. So we've got this car. Um, this looks kind of like an Audi or a Citroen, maybe? Thinking, oh gosh, that one would be difficult. Probably get paid for that one, but let's see. What do I want to work on? Brake problems. Okay, we'll do an easy job for this video. We'll do the we'll brake work because it's pretty simple stuff usually. And uh, where is this truck at? Okay, so here we go. Smith 1500 looks pretty much like an old Ford or an old Chevy. We're going to move you. Uh, let's take a look inside the car first. Eh, uh, interior is really good shape for something that is supposed to be really old. We'll start this question. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and move you on over to the lift. And let's get to work on these brakes. So Obviously, you need to jack the truck up on the lifts. Still trying to get used to this game. I haven't played too much of it. I'm going to try to get another slow setup right here because I really don't want to jack it up too much. Oh, yes, that is looking bad. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to take all of that out. <laughs> Uh, the brake shoes and the and the drums look really bad. Oh, wow, this one too. So I need probably a disc. That's weird. It's running discs up front. Well, I mean, a lot of older cars did that. Wow, the caliper was four percent. Wow. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go over here. Take it off. Man, these brakes are in rough shape. Of course, this one's probably the best looking one I've seen so far in this vehicle. Okay, take the pads off. Goodbye, and the disc. That was actually really that was pretty alright for how this vehicle's been looking. One last tire to take off this is going to be a drum. And the Ford of Rock Racing is running one drum. It's kind of weird. Okay, this one's not too bad either. The shoes are in incredibly good shape. So. On the order list this guy has, he needs a shoe, a caliper, and a drum. That's all we need, apparently. Okay, so what was the replace the minimum thing? 56%, so... Uh, crap, I don't remember which caliper was what goes on that truck. So we need a caliper, a shoe, and a drum. Go here, caliper. 
the world was that? Someone just fell off the, the freaking table by me. Shoe and a drum. So that's it. We're done. It's a pretty easy job, I think. Okay, so this is a disc up front. We need to go into mount mode. Ventilate a disc. New disc up front. New pads. Or not the newish pads. And the new caliper with the old caliper cylinder in there. Go ahead and bolt you in. Cool. Oops, I'm going to tire on. And cool. Alright, that's one wheel done. Put brand new brake shoes in. Brand new brake drum. And Alright, so they're planning on adding multiplayer to this game very soon. I'm trying to decide what kind of car I want to build for a race vehicle, and I can't decide between building a RX-7 or RX-3, because I'm planning on doing the Mazda DLC, and if I do get either car, I'll be doing a whole, uh, like a whole build series on it, a game, of course, because I'm a bit of a JDM egghead, which is why I chose to go with Mazda, uh, Michael, of course, choosing to go with Dodge, but kind of an interesting showdown between us two, on which American muscle brand can build the best car. So, obviously, if I do an RX-7, it'll be built up pretty nicely. I may swap it down the road. Who knows? But it'll be pretty cool to do in this game to get, like, kind of build my own dream RX-7. All right, so we're going to put the disc back on. The disc is in good enough shape to be put back on the vehicle. And I know you're probably saying I should just buy a new caliper and get a bonus, but I'm trying to get this job done. So, and put the wheel back on. I really could take two shots on and have one car parked outside. So. Okay, well, it should be it. Cool. A hundred dollars for that, and I pay probably more than that on parts. Hmm. Well, I have six grand. I have. I still haven't gotten quite enough experience to unlock anything yet. I don't think. Yeah, can't, I still can't go to the auctions, I still can't go to the racetrack, I still can't go to the junkyard, the salon, but I can go to the test track. So, I think we're going to take another order. Let's see, we got sloppy steering, controlling feels loose. Um, it is a video game guy with something, to, so please do something with these rims because they slow me down. And I think something is not ideal to making a strange bang, a strange banging noise. So we'll take we'll take your order here. We'll probably take the, the internet guy's order as well. This is like a Volvo. It looks like an XC90 almost. Kind of like a mix between the Tarag and the XC90. Okay, so we'll move, go ahead and move you to the lift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other order for this guy right here. Oh, well, he's gone apparently. He just left. Oh, there he is. We'll park you here inside the garage. Alright, so, what is this? what do you need on your car? Hawaii tag is pretty cool. Oil filter and fuel filter. Easy job. Okay, cool. So, what's the replacement? It's 100. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be nice. I'm going to get two new, a new oil filter and a new fuel filter. So, while it's going up on the lift, I need an oil filter and a fuel filter. So, we'll obviously go to engine. I don't know what kind of oil filter it needs, actually. That's pretty... Let's see if they've got anything specific, though, if it needs a specific one. Okay, so obviously it will. Uh, I didn't pay attention to what kind of engine this has got. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this engine. We'll pop this hood. Uh, I need to find filter. Filter, filter. Aha! Fuel filter. And then... Where would the oil filter be? Probably close to, probably underneath the car, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna jack it up just a bit more. Let's see what we can find underneath here. Alright, 
So. Where that in the world? That? There it is. Okay, so we have in our inventory, engine parts, a fuel filter, which is the one that's probably dead, and a fuel f uh, a oil filter, an inline four, and a fuel filter. So I just need fuel filter and inline and oil filter inline four. Okay, cool. That's pretty easy. Okay, oil filter inline four. Okay, so we got one of those. Then I need a fuel filter, which is just a fuel filter. Alright, cool. That's basically done. So now we can come back underneath the car. If I can get situated properly. Go ahead and mount this bad boy in a brand new oil filter. Probably am going to go ahead and perform an oil change since I'm doing that. I don't know really if that would help, but we're just going to go ahead and get that done. Since we put a new oil filter in. Of course, this is kind of reverse order, but... Okay, we're going to go ahead and drop that down. Go ahead and switch to mount mode filter brand new and we're gonna go ahead and drop some oil in this mug So, that's done. Drop the hood, and your car is finished. $81 for that. Alright. So what's wrong with your car? So this is like, kind of... It looks kind of like a Fiat, but at the same time, I don't know what in the world it is. We'll go ahead and pop the door on it, take a look at the interior on it. Yeah, this screams Fiat to me, for whatever reason. Um, little, little car. No, it's, it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and shut you down. Okay, so what do you need? Oh, crate. A, a, a ton of parts. Okay. So wheels, because the wheels are shot for sure. And something is not right with the engine. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take you, put you on the lift. And you'll probably be the star of the next video. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is going to be coming more to the channel soon. Uh, this car will be the star of the next video, where we take apart essentially a YouTuber's car, it sounds like to me. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.